everyone. It's a cold Friday here and we have our final Azure haul for the year. Um, and so I wanna show you everything that we got. We order from Azure every single month and it is a huge portion of our grocery budget. So the stuff you see here um, is pretty much what we're gonna eat for the month. We do this every month. So of course we still have stores of other items downstairs in our bulk pantry. Um, so if you're wondering how we live off of just this, um, we're not, there's other things, uh, that we have stored. So let's get started. Okay. So starting over here, um, pretty much every month, these are staple items for us. We get a big bag of carrots and, um, some sorts, some type of potatoes. Uh, some months we do the sweet potatoes. Sometimes they have the little fingerling potatoes and those are fun to have occasionally. But, um, in the winter months we do a lot of soups and it's just really nice to have this these kinds of potatoes um also i picked up some really high quality fruit juices we have well whenever we get sick in the house um, and my kids want jello i mix this up with some of the beef gelatin that we get from azure and it makes a really good jello we also have um my daughter has a surgery coming up she's gonna have her tonsils removed and I want to make her some jello um, that will actually be nutritious and not just full of dyes and artificial sugar and things like that. Um, we've been really into salads lately. So I got their dried cranberries and their apple juice infused, which is really exciting. Um, I got these because a lot of bread recipes call for some potato flakes and I don't have any on hand. I've never, I've never done that before. I've never kept it on hand. So... I'm not loving that there are added ingredients aside from the organic potatoes, but for just the fun experiments with baking, that will do. Um, this is also for salads. Uh, the, it'll go with the cranberries. We've been putting things like apples and pears and um, feta and goat cheese and manchego, just all kinds of things, just having a lot of fun with salad. It's kind of my creative outlet right now. Um, and then over here, this is kind of my fire cider corner. Um, it's a little bit late in the year. I'm sort of just learning about fire ciders, so maybe it'll be for next year, but we get sick year round, honestly, so um, it will be good anytime. But I got the rose hips, the cinnamon, and then I have ginger and turmeric root here, all to go in a fire cider. And then I started getting my frozen fruit from Azure this month. I used to get it at Costco, but we are slowly getting everything off of Costco. Um, I have these strawberries here, and then I have these raspberry um, pieces here. We, my husband really likes seasoned yogurt. Um, as you can see, they're pretty thawed, but that's not Azure's fault. That's mine. We Our drop was um, just a little bit different today, the way that I got my stuff. I did it kind of late. So that's why that's like that. Um, we really like these parchment sheets. They are individual sheets, which is so nice. Um, and they're brown. They're not coated with gross stuff. Um, we like this brand of cream cheese because it doesn't have any fillers in it. Um, yeah, here's the ingredients, cream and sea salt. So anyway, it's a great brand. Um, it does take, a, it tastes a little bit different than like Philadelphia might. And it also is crumblier. So when you go to spread it, you can't just spread. You kind of have to like smash it with your knife first and then spread it. Um, but once you get used to it, um, it's a great product. We've ordered this like 15 times. I mean, it's, it's a regular go-to. I picked up uh, some citrus, which is in really good condition. I won't lie, sometimes when you get fresh produce from Azure, um, especially us, we're out all the way out on the East Coast and Azure is West Coast. Uh, so sometimes by the time fruit gets to us, it can be a little hit or miss. Um, I've had really good luck with grapes and I've also had really bad luck with grapes, for instance. Uh, and these oranges are in great condition. So thankful for that. Stocked up on some kidney beans. We just canned a bunch, um, so I need to refill my dry jar. Um, but we also have a ton of pints that are ready to use downstairs. Um, and then I needed some spices. So I usually order by the pound, except this curry powder. I think it was cheaper to go up to the three pound quantity. So I ordered three pounds of curry. Uh, we will use it. And we needed pepper and cumin. And I think I also got... I got these crushed red peppers, which came in a comically big bag. That will probably take us a few years, <laughs> uh, but that's okay. Um, it works out. Uh, also bay leaves. I was just joking with a bunch of ladies that a pound of bay leaves 
is a lot of bay leaves. Um, so for most spices, it's really manageable to order by the pound, but some of them are just so lightweight that a uh, pound is a lot of volume. Um, I got red wine vinegar. This has been, I've been using a ton of this in salad dressings, making like a sweet Italian dressing with olive oil and red wine and maple syrup, red wine vinegar and maple syrup, uh, and some salt and pepper and maybe a clove of garlic. I think that's what I've been doing. And it's really good like that. The molasses is because um, we have started making our own brown sugar. Uh, and one of our cats is downstairs making a lot of noise. Um, you just add a tablespoon of molasses for one cup of sugar for light brown sugar and you mix it up in your KitchenAid or whatever you have and it makes brown sugar and it's it's fantastic. Um, so we're gonna start doing that. This is a repeat purchase. We get this once every, I don't know, six to eight months and I just portion this out into pint jars and store it and we just pull out a jar at a time as we need it. Um, these cheeses were on sale. We usually go through like a block and a half a month, um, but I've noticed that they last a long time. They were on sale this month. So normally I just get two at once, but I got four at once and we will see how that goes. Um, I might, if I notice that they're starting to go bad, I might just shred them and then like par freeze it and par freeze, is that a word? Flash freeze <laughs> and then put it all in, you know, baggies and freeze it shredded um, just to preserve it if necessary. Trying out this brand of floss, whoops, and it's gone. <laughs> Trying out this brand of floss because I really want some floss that doesn't have fluoride in it. Um, we have slowly been switching over all of our dental care to much cleaner products. Um, so excited to try that. This is a new product I'm excited to try just for some extra electrolytes. My husband has been super into electrolytes lately and he's sort of pulling me on the bandwagon. And I really like this brand. We get uh, Redmond Salt. This is the Redmond Real does it say it on here? Yeah, here we go. Real Salt, that's kind of their brand, Redmond Real Salt. Um, so I'm excited to try that. And then this, I don't remember even ordering this. I probably did. You know how you order over the month with Azure? Um, but it looks very interesting. Eucalyptus and Peppermint Herbal Rub. Looks like maybe a Vicks substitute or maybe a Pain Salve. Huh, interesting. Menthol. I bet it is like a Vicks substitute, maybe. Very cool. I'm excited to try that. And, oh, I can't forget these. This is a staple. Um, every month we get one or two bags of flour. This is the 25 pound quantity. Um, we bake almost all of our own flour goods. So our bread, um, buns, things like that. I don't know what else, but you know, we make pancakes and just all kinds of things. Um, so we go through one or two of these a month and then cane sugar. I don't buy this every month, <laughs> maybe two, two to three times a year. Uh, we go through a 25 pound bag of sugar. So that is our Azure haul for December.